the scum. Yes, indeed, the Stormtrooper version of Clone Corner is here. I don't know the name of it yet, though. I'm probably going to just think about that after I film this video because I just have no ideas. But yeah, this is the Sideshow Collectibles Militaries of Star Wars 1-6 scale Stormtrooper Commander. I really love this thing. I really do. I have watched the Sith Lord 229 review of it about a thousand times, and I finally decided, you know what, I've got the money. Let's, let's buy it because I just want to buy something big and cool, and I decided, hey, it's going to be this, and I have absolutely no regrets because I love this thing to death. Anyways, before I start rambling like I have on my previous takes of this video, let's just quickly run down the box because, A, it's the box. You have a picture of the prototype of the figure, which is kind of differently painted than the, the normal one. You can kind of see some differences where the, the scratches seem more natural on this while they're just black details on the actual one. Um, and then, you know, it's that, and then look, it's another picture of him, and then look, it's pictures, but they're not actual pictures of the character, and oh, look, it's other guys, and then look, it's another picture, and then, oh, what's this? A magnet, where you can open it up? Whoa! And then there is a massive read-up, if you want to pause and read that, there you go. And then, hey, look, even more reading, that's amazing, awesome, reading is great, I guess. Uh, so yeah, there's the box, and I haven't even read that stuff, by the way. I don't even know if I ever will. Here is the figure. He is great, and he is amazing. Now, I don't know if he actually paw... No, oh, okay, buddy. Uh, he's not on the display base, because I need to actually pose him. Uh, he, I don't know if he actually read the description, uh, ran down the accessories. They didn't cover all of them, for some reason. One of the ones they didn't cover was the display base. Uh, he does indeed come with a display base, and because it's a Sideshow exclusive, it's not the normal black base. It is a white base. And I'm, I'm not talking about Gundam, I'm talking about this base. Look, it's got the Stormtrooper Commander look, it's, you, you can see what it is. And then it's got the little cradle, which is oddly enough a waist clamp instead of like a crotch cradle. Uh, I guess that's just what they did with older sideshows. Really wish it was a crotch cradle because getting this around the waist of the figure is really uncomfortable. And I don't like doing it and I would not suggest doing it. So I would say, um... Either get a different little cradle, or just don't have them on the base. I'll probably put them on the base when I actually finally get around to permanently displaying them, though. But yeah, uh, there's that. Anyways, what else he has? He has hands. He has a right hand here, which I guess is kind of for holding a scout pistol, because it kind of has the two fingers together. That's a pretty useful accessory. And then he has a... Uh, a little trigger finger for the left hand, oh wow. And then on his actual arms, he has a trigger finger for his right hand to hold his gun, which he does come with a gun. And then he has an open hand on this hand, so he can go, Armiselli, I do not understand what you speak. Apparently he's Italian. Uh, and he also comes with a thermal detonator. I guess this is what this is. Someone's going to say, actually, it's, it's, I have always called it a thermal detonator. Uh, it's, it's on a little metal clamp and it just goes over the belt. Boom. Just like that. And he also has his E11, his Blast Tech E11 Stormtrooper Blaster Rifle. It goes in the holster with a little magnet. I think it's really nice. And then it just slips on out. The holster is kind of like a leather pleather material. Come on out, buddy. Come on out. There we go. Easier to get it out than it is to get it in, I can tell you that. Uh, and then, uh, also with this rifle, not only can it be, you're already kind of seeing it, uh, not only can it be a normal Stormtrooper rifle, if you fully plug that in, but it can also have the stock. You just kind of get that and you unfold it. Then it's kind of on a rail, sort of, but it's not really. It's just kind of doing that. It's doing its own thing, and it's coming undone. I'm not going to make another corn reference. I already have done that this month. Oh, uh, yeah, the, look, it's a stock. That's nice. You have a stock for your Stormtrooper rifle. If you want them to rifle butt, you can do that. Uh, you also have a little metal loop on the back here. Nice little subtle detail. And then you also just have some paint, and it just generally looks really great. It's a really great little rifle. And you just plug that in, and usually it stays. Boom, there we go. It's fully plugged in. And then he can hold it like a gun. Boom. There we go. So yeah, this figure is very, very nice looking. It also poses really nice too for a decade-old sideshow figure. Uh, it is really nice for the posability. Now one thing I need to talk about is the head, because this is how the head naturally rests. And I'm not even joking. This is how sideshow designed it. That's really stupid. But thankfully, you can just fix it 
um, if I just fully pop off the head, you can see it's just on a tube for the socket. And that's typically how Sideshow hel uh, helmets go. Here, just showing you another one. Here's the 212th Deluxe. You can see it's basically the same system. Uh, you can just kind of sort of get it on there, but not all the way. Like there, it's on all the way. Then you just sort of get it up, and boom, look, it's sitting more naturally. Everyone with that complaint can now shut up because, boom, there you go. He looks like a decent human being. Uh, <laughs> anyways, articulation. You have the ball joint at the head, which moves like a dream if you, you know, raise it up a little bit. It's really great. You also have a ball joint down at the neck. For the shoulders, you have a butterfly right there. You have a hinge going up. Forward, of course, bicep swivel. Double jointed elbow. Pretty standard 1-6 scale figure articulation. Uh, one thing, though, because it is an older sideshow body, uh, it's not really brittle or anything, but some of the joints sometimes are a little loose. Uh, this isn't the first time I've had this happen. Even my sideshow 212th Deluxe, which is my most recent sideshow, uh, that's a 2014 release, uh, even that one has some loose joints. Uh, he also has, I don't know about Hot Toys if they have loose joints. I don't have any Hot Toys, even though I will once I get that Commander Cody. Uh, I have a ball joint at the waist there with pretty uninhibited range because they decided to keep the armor slightly, you know, padded out, which some people modified it to clamp it in. I don't suggest doing that because it's a harder plastic, but you can if you want. Then you also have a joint at the waist if you so choose to use it, no real point. Hips, they can move forward pretty much all the way. I could say move them out about that much. Thigh swivel, double jointed knee, which will go quite far but it's actually sliding the armor down and thus sliding the foot peg down. You can see the foot is almost unpegged, <laughs> but uh, that's just how that works. And hey, at least it does work. And then the feet are on swivels and then they're on hinges and then they're also on more swivels because it's the really nice universal peg system that Sideshow's used. It's really good, really good foot. Uh, no alternate feet like a lot of the clone troopers on this guy. Uh, I've already run down everything he comes with. He also comes with individual armor pieces. Whoa! Um, he's, you know, it's individual armor, you know. It's what it is, fabric undersuit. Uh, he also does have the kind of pleather material for the neck right there. Overall, um, the articulation is really good. Uh, like I said, it is an older sideshow, though, so some of the um, joints are a little, just a little loose. But still, you can get them posed. You can pose him. Like, it's not like he's unposable. I always see pictures of this guy just, like, standing there all boring. Because people probably think, oh, older Sideshow Stormtroopers, piece of garbage. No, it's a really good figure. It's really good. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, don't, don't be, don't be making me a hypocrite now. Uh, so, yeah, let's talk about the details because we're already pretty deep into this review. Uh, he looks amazing. I know you've probably been looking at him this whole time, so I'm not going to run it down too much. Uh, I really like the black. Uh, I know it's different from what the prototype on the box showed, but I really do like the black. Uh, unfortunately, the only paint issue I have on mine is that the brow paint up above is not even. That is the only issue I really have. Uh, the blue looks amazing, and I love all the little white scratches. The little silver there looks great. The eye pieces are nice and glossy. Overall, the paint's really amazing. Oh no, looks like Starkiller got to him. I'm just turning his head. Look at that. Really nice. I love the black, like I already said. It just looks really good. You can see the blue and the white and the grays, you know, black scratches. My custom six inch Stormtrooper Commander was heavily inspired by this figure. And you'll see that when I uh, show him off and get the detail there. The belt with the little things there, they're just attached with fabric. Hey, he's looking pretty good. He's got a big old uh, panel line, I guess, right there. He's kind of panel lined. He's looking really good. I really like his feet. Just painted. And we got to talk about this leg, because I love this leg on Stormtrooper Commanders. Such a cool design element. I love that blue. I love all the scratches. This guy has been fighting on Felucia for a while, and he's ready to take on Starkiller. Uh, no, he's going to die in like two seconds. Uh, <laughs> he's really cool design, though. He's my favorite Stormtrooper. This is my favorite Stormtrooper ever. I love him. 
Anyways, that's pretty much the figure. I mean, you can click off now if you want. If you don't want to see cool comparisons. Because comparisons are really cool. He stands pretty alright on his own, even though sometimes he makes me a little scared. Don't fall, buddy. Don't fall. Anyways, let's laugh a little bit. Here it is with the Hasbro 12-inch Stormtrooper uh, from just five years. Five years difference. 2004, 2009. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I still love you, buddy. But... <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> that's out of the way. Let's compare them with my other Sideshow figures I have. Um, I currently have my Cody in 212th Deluxe in Phase 1 configuration. So that's what you're going to be seeing. There it is with my Commander Cody, my first Sideshow. Uh, you can see these uh, very stark white, very, you know, kind of dirty white. So that's really interesting. That's for all the clones. So there's Cody. And then one comparison with the bases. I'm trying to think how to do this. There's Cody's base. The white with the Cody detail on it, and then you already saw the that base. Okay, that's over with. Here he is with the newest, as in sequential release, sideshow I have, the Deluxe 212. You can see, um, definitely in the five years difference these guys have, sideshow really amped up their quality. Uh, I still love the paint on this guy, uh, and it definitely has its own aesthetic. But this is kind of next level stuff. So, and also Hot Toys uh, played a pretty major part in designing the uh, Deluxe 212s and all that. Um, then also, here it is with my previous sideshow I got, the Airborne Trooper. There we go. Nice little comparison there. You can see he's nice, nice guys. The Airborne is the most solid when it comes to the bodies, the undersuits that I have. Um, he has no joint problems. Uh, all of my others have at least a few joints that are a little eh. But yeah, that's pretty much it with those comparisons. If you want to stick around for even more comparisons, why thank you very much. Here he is with my custom 6-inch Black Series Stormtrooper Commander I made a couple years ago. You can see where I really took inspiration off of the sideshow for a lot of the design elements. The white, the black. I still really love my custom, but the sideshow paint deco uh, very clearly is superior, as it should be. I mean, it's very expensive, high-end collectible, and this is just a custom I made in a few hours. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, I still love my custom, though. But I also really love this sideshow. Uh, another comparison. Here it is with Hasbro's official 3 and 3 quarter inch Stormtrooper Commander figure. One of my absolute favorites. Uh, the paint deco is not 100% accurate on this little guy. Uh, he has blue hands when he shouldn't. Uh, the stripes on the arms are really odd and shouldn't be like that. Uh, but yeah, overall he's looking good. Uh, oh, did I not show the back? Here, let's just show the back real quick. Boom, there you go. Also very pretty on the back, so don't worry, guys. He's looking good. And one final little comparison before we log off. Here he is with the cute, adorable uh, fixed shoulder pad. Here it is, the cute, adorable little unleashed figures of the Stormtrooper Commander. I got these at the flea market. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little, little, little cute comparison there to end the video. There we go, guys. I just wanted to make a, a nice, thorough video of the Stormtrooper Commander because I love this guy. Really great sideshow. I love him. He's not perfect. Uh, the paint deco could be a little better in some places, uh, mostly with the stripe there. and uh, it's, it's subjective whether or not you like the black weathering and the panel lining. Uh, I personally like it, but I can see why other people don't. Um, there we go. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links down in the description below. Have a good day, guys, and as always, uh, may the force be with you. Uh, do, 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 boom, 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 boom.